You can do it. Further adventures in Japan. Hello, all you wonderful people. I'm in a park. I'm on the bridge, and today I'm going to hell. Yes, this little park near Hino Station in Osaka, Japan, seems like a quaint, cute little park. There's baseball to be played, there's, there's a playground, you could even ride a swing if you wanted to. But, let me tell you what, this park has a very hidden and scary secret just right over its tiny mountain. This tiny shrine behind me? is actually a shrine to either heaven or hell. And if you go to hell, as you can see from the sign, Onis will rip out your tongue. Ooh. So come with me and let's go to hell. Also, let's see obscure artwork. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but it's something. The whole shrine itself is pretty small, but it's, it's a little bit intimidating. It's a little spooky, because you know it's like the, the hell shrine. So right as you walk in, this right here is a decider to find out if you go to heaven or if you go to hell. Now, this side is the good side. I, I don't know enough Japanese to understand everything, but I know this is the good side and this is the bad side. So if I can't answer everything B, I'm going to hell. So let's see what happens when I do that. This is Katakana for start. Okay. Is it on? Are you working? Hello. Okay, here we go. My answer is B, B, B. So I didn't realize that on the bottom of this, there's a level from 10 to 8, 7 to 4, 3 to 0, 1, negative 1 to negative 3, negative 4 to negative 7, then negative 8 to negative 10. I got the highest number. I'm going straight to hell. This means that Onis are destined to rip out my tongue. By the way, what is an Oni? This right here is an Oni. It's a Japanese demon, a punisher. Actually, there is a festival that happens at once a year where you put uh, like uncut sushi in your mouth and throw beans at people dressed as Oni and say, go away, go away. Beans probably wouldn't stop a monster like this as they club you to death, but hey, you know, it's the thought that counts. And now in this room, it's time to enter hell. <laughs> oh, look at that. This is apparently the entrance to hell. You gotta pay money and ring the gong, and uh, then stuff will go on, I guess. This is really creepy. All right, let's pay my, my shilling here. My shilling. And you're supposed to ring this bell and hear the sound of hell. Wow, they got a whole production here. There's an Oni over here and that mirror turns on the moment you hit the gong. It's, it's like a, being in a Hollywood movie attraction. Except this Hollywood movie attraction threatens to rip out your tongue. This really has some Indiana Jones Temple of Doom feel to it right now. Kalima! Kalima! So basically the whole hell room, from what I understood from the very little Japanese that I got in the subtext that was in the room, is that, hey, this is what's gonna happen if you die, if you're bad, you're gonna be thrown into a lake of fire. And with the if, if this was done in America, Jesus would be the answer. But it's it's Buddha. It's it's the exact same thing. It's scaring you. Be, be good. Be good. Or this will happen to you. Ha ha ha. Also, speaking of this, 
Well, what is that over there? Like, am I supposed to stick my head in that and I'll see Buddha or I'll get better? Or is that the entrance to hell? So with a little research, it says if you put your head in here, you can hear the voices straight from hell itself. So I assume this is a direct link to the center of the earth where hell assumingly is. So let's find out. Oh. Uh, uh. All I could hear was the sound of my own grunting, getting up and getting back. It was truly frightening. Upon leaving the hell room that they have in the shrine, you get some Buddha and some some bugs, and then you got this. One. That's like a like a, a meditation area because you got this big white thing surrounded by water. Someone really spent a lot of time in this. Apparently, you're supposed to meditate here and. Think what Buddha means to you. Is this shrine basically a hell house? Is this is this the Buddhist version of a hell house? Because that's what it feels like. If that's the hell room and that you can hear hell, is this the water from hell? Let's find out. <laughs> No, it's, it's just water. So if this whole shrine was dedicated to just scaring you into being Buddhist and being good, this is the final clincher. This is the Buddha room where all good people get to go if you follow the Buddha. This is a lot happier than the entrance to hell. Oh, Dr. Jones. I said, oh, okay. Oh, this is actually creepier. There's water coming down from the ceiling. There's water all around. There's a bunch of Buddhas in here. It is echoing. And there's this on the ground. I really think this is supposed to be a place of peaceful meditation. But boy, oh boy, if I was in here by myself, it was dark, and someone just said, go down there with absolutely no subtext. This would scare me more than the hell room because there's a bunch of Buddhas on the wall staring you down. It's creepy. I think this word gets thrown around too much, but I definitely think that this room is definitely, definitely epic. At first, this looks like a normal shrine, but if you look right over here, there's some creepy, creepy guys hiding down here. How's it going? Got any chicken? Oh, excuse me, my mistake. They're actually everywhere. Wow, they're creeping around this. I have no idea what this is, but does it not look like the cover of the handbook for the recently deceased? It really reads like stereo instructions. Oh wow, it shows what I know. In this little room inside of the shrine, there's a museum to like little collectible toys and miniatures and like old washing machines and stuff. That's crazy. Hey, look out, it's Gigantor making a cameo in my video. I got like guns on display and look at this, it's the Lone Ranger. Hi ho, silver away! I gotta admit, I know nothing about what's going on behind me other than that guy looks like the Lord of Fire with a big sword. And you know who we should really talk to about this? Toko, the guy that I went farming with. He is a strict Buddhist and he probably knows a lot about this. So maybe I can get him in a video and actually ask him about these things. So that was the Hell Shrine. Was that a, a scare tactic to scare young kids into believing into Buddhism? Or was it a, a, an actual like, hey, look out, be a good person kind of thing? I don't know, it feels like a, like a hell house to me, it really does. And that Buddha room was awesome. Now, if you guys like adventures in Japan and you want to see more, comment down below. Tell me what you want to see. I want to go to more spooky places, especially now being August, the time that ghosts actually come out in Japan. 
I really want to go to more scary places in Japan. So feel free to leave me a comment down below if you know any places that are scary in Japan. Like this video, leave a comment, share this video, and consider subscribing to my channel if you actually like videos about adventures in Japan. Now as I usually say, you can do it, I can do it, we can all do it. Stay groovy and have a wonderful day. Adios amigos. You know, I really expected there to be a lot more heavy metal in hell. Ronnie James Dio, you've lied to me.